Good morning, Blazers. Today is Thursday, December 14th. There are seven more school days until break. Now, please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to InfoFlow. I'm Guy. And I'm Catherine. In the news, the House GOP has shown indication that they will likely vote for $5 billion for Trump's wall in the near future. The Blair No Labels Club is having a meeting today. Everyone is welcome to go to room 138 after ninth period to discuss biases and stereotypes and have interesting conversation about current events. Now, let's take a look at the electric made in Tacoma. The Electric Maid is a local performance venue that hosts uh, small artists from schools uh, like Blair and just around the area. The Electric Maid is completely free to come through. Uh, there's all sorts of performances that go down uh, at the Maid. You have uh, stand-up comedy, bands, solo acts, dancing, all sorts of things. It's like really fun and you get to like be yourself on stage and that was like pretty cool. And it's a really good first place to perform too. So that was my first place that I performed live in front of a crowd. It's nerve-wracking at first, but you get used to it pretty quickly. And the audience is really like helpful. Like they're really lively and stuff. You know, students practice playing, but they don't necessarily practice performing. So you know, every minute that you're up there is kind of like 20 minutes in a practice room. I felt a lot more confident whenever I play music again in front of people because of that. Any chance you get, perform, do it because. Whether or not you think that it goes well or doesn't go well, it's going to make you better. People are just there to have a good time, dance and stuff, just like appreciate the music. I encourage everyone to come out to The Maid uh, and perform uh, as an artist or just watch there. It's really casual and it's a good time to go out there on Friday nights. Come to The Electric Maid, it's going to be a good time. I say, oh, you're a middle schooler. What a perfect venue for aspiring artists. If you're interested in playing here, make sure to contact them. Go join Asian Lit Club in watching the blockbuster romantic comedy R Crazy Rich Asians this Friday, December 14th in room 157 after 7th period. Everyone is welcome and there will be food. Now, let's take a look at the recap of the bomb threat last Thursday. This is Hunter Walter and reporting from Blazer Field, where today Montgomery Blair High School is the site of a bomb threat. Students were evacuated shortly after the start of 7th period this past Thursday after the main office received a call saying that there were multiple bombs planted inside the school. Montgomery County Police and Fire Rescue Services promptly responded to both Blair and Springbrook High School, which also received a bomb threat at approximately the same time. After congregating in the field, staff and students were ushered into the football stadium as law enforcement cleared the building. For juniors and seniors, this is the second time that Blair has been the target of a bomb threat leaving some Blazers angry and upset. So how do you feel about what's going on today? Honestly, I'm a little bit scared because this is the second time this happened. Like, what is wrong with this school, you know? Like, I think this needs to stop. This gonna, Blair's gonna be known for bombs. Like, what is that? Still, like, this is not, you shouldn't do this. Like, whoever you are, like, it's not cool. Like, yeah. Most of the students I talked to were simply cold and scared. So how do you feel right now? Uh, cold, it's cold. Really scared, I'm really cold, my legs are, are really freezing, and I just want to go home. Like, I really want to go home. I don't know how I feel, I don't know how I feel about it, because there's like a lot of people crowded like in this one place. I just feel that's unsafe. I'm just scared, I really am. I'm, I don't want to die. <laughs> After sweeping the building, police found no credible threat, and students were allowed back inside at 3 o'clock, bringing the crisis to a peaceful end. For BNC, I'm Hunter Walterman. Good thing everyone was safe. Blazers, always be sure to listen to authorities in scary events like this. Ho, ho, hope and mic. Sign up to perform at Silver Quill's second open mic of the year. It will be on Friday, December 21st during both 5th and 6th lunches in the Media Center. You can sign up at tinyurl.com slash open mic December. Bring your holiday spirit. That's all for today's show. Check out our website, bncaonline.net, to submit announcements, and follow us on Twitter at bncblair and on Instagram at bnc.infoflow. Have a theme-filled Thursday. I'll leave the theme to you, Blazers. Slay all day.